chasing the cash. I just can't get enough. Can't get enough. I'm still in my bag. Watch how I run it up. Watch how I run it up. Space is straight to the moon. I had to love a love. I had to love a love. Shorty was falling in love. All in a double cup. All in a double cup. You know I be chasing the cash. It ain't no slow wind down. No slow wind down. These people all up in my business. They think they know me now. They know me now. Watch how I level up. I'm on woods at the shop with a double cup. Yep, niggas know not to fuck with us. We back, man, with another one, bro. Uh, good news, man. Good news. Hiccups are gone, y'all. Hiccups are gone, y'all. Let's get a round of applause for me. God damn it, y'all had me breathing in bags and why are the crickets playing? <laughs> <laughs> y'all had me breathing in a bag. Y'all had me hold my breath. She was talking about swallowing. I wasn't hearing that. You feel me? But we here, man. Hiccup free episode. Damn, that would have been dope if it was three. three but I keep not. Oh, it's not episode that was three. Right, it is. I keep. I need to stop trying be. to tell y'all what episode it's number timeless. we are. I never it's know. Timeless. I never know what episode it is. So it's just the next one. You feel me? It ain't nothing um, but a number. Now, if y'all can't tell, the video senders in the background because she wanted to know how I was gonna react to <laughs> once again. So, shout out to the video finder slash producer slash the the birther of the kids. Oh. You feel me? Oh, that's a big shout out. Should I take a lot? Take a lot. What you want? You get off. <laughs> This is unscripted, right on the spot, nigga. I don't know how I'm gonna react. That's why it's a reaction video, y'all. Let's get to it, bruh. Some bosses, employees, something, something. My goodness. Scrumptious. What is he saying? What is he? <laughs> nigga, off top. What is scrumptious? Scrumptious sound like some mm. perverted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait. Is this the boss? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's scrumptious. Thank you. Looking right, looking tight. Hi, right, Brad. You can't say that. Does this man know he on camera, bro? Like, th these are the shows that I think they tell him they on a different show, but it's really like a whole nother show. Like, they tell him, like, oh, we looking to make you the promoter or the, the manager. So we need to get your insight. And the nigga is not the man. Bro, they lying to these niggas, training bro. Them. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm Lewis. Nice to meet you, Lewis. Nice to meet you. Welcome to True Value. Thank you very much. My knowledge is your power, dude. We're here to win. All right. So you know what? I'm going to take you through a normal day here at True Fantastic. Value. Fantastic. I'm going to smoke some cigarettes. I'm going gonna... <laughs> to show you on a normal day here. We're going to smoke some cigarettes. My guy, Slim Shady, Marshall Mathers, y'all working at Trader Joe's, calm down buddy, do y'all sell cigarettes? Play with some women, we're gonna sell some. This made me drop my joint. You should run it back, you should run it back, run that back. No, y'all can run that back, I just threw, I, I'm lost right, wait. You're right. You're right. I'm so lost. Ironically, we have 33 seconds and I'm completely confused. Let's run it back, bro. He said, only thing I got out of this is we're going to smoke some cigarettes. <laughs> Take you through a normal day here. It's really Fantastic. Like, we're going to smoke some cigarettes. We're going to flirt with some women. We're going to sell some. I'm sorry. We're <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We're going to sell some what? I hope he said I hope he just said He did. They had to bleep it what? out. <laughs> We're going to sell everything here in this store, man. So let's do this, all right? Okay. He's hot. First He's so hot. Yes. 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 My producer called it. He is on cocaine. <laughs> Makes a little Adderall and Red Bull. <laughs> this nigga is tripping. We, it, 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 it just blew me. The, the number one thing he said that he was excited about was smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Lewis is he is a potty and dude. I love the long hair. I love the flannel. Presentation is everything. He looks like he knows what he's talking about. 
What do you need me to do? We want to make things aesthetically pleasing. Stuff like this, we just straighten it out. Okay. You gonna help me out? No, actually, I'm gonna tell you what you okay. need to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big, big, big man on campus. I'm just gonna tell you what I need you to do. Do, uh, they're stocking light bulbs. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> let's just keep let's just keep it rolling. But uh, you know, it's a blessing that I have someone to do my work for me today. First impressions of Brad. So you usually do this yourself? I usually do this myself, or at least uh, I like to pretend I do. You know, it kind of shuffles his. <laughs> Look, y'all, check this out. Y'all know the point of my channel is I keep it all the way a hundred, bro. I'm feeling like <laughs> fake, y'all. I just got a feeling, but let's proceed. Steve, he's, he's a little bit lazy. Who are the primary customers of the store? Well, the primary ones for me are the cute women, man. I want to get some phone numbers. I want, you know, I'm a single dude here in the city, so those are the ones that I take pride in helping. <laughs> he knows he's on camera, bro. Like, I'm tripping right now. Like, what is this dude doing, bro? You think he gonna uh, get hired for the season two? My first impressions of Brad were not positive. Time out. Of course Excuse not. Excuse me, miss. How can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for nails. You're looking for nails when you're in the right place. Or... I feel like Brad is a pedophile, y'all. Why is he so thirsty? I'm like, I need a picture. Okay, come with me. We got these little tags here. Maybe like a value pack set would help. Okay, great. Thank you for your help. Well, good luck with that. Is, any other questions? That's it. All right. All right. Yeah. Nice meeting you. He didn't. That was great. He didn't. He didn't even introduce himself. He didn't say anything. He didn't say my name is Brad or nothing. He said nice to meet you. Looking at her creepily as hell, bro. Like. Oh. Yeah. Bruh. That's uh. That's what makes my day, buddy. <laughs> there it is. You f creep. That was really great customer service. Let's do more stuff, or maybe I've grabbed the number, but maybe I'm not her taste. You're no one's taste, buddy. You sell light bulbs, buddy. I'm confused on what Brad thinks that his role is in this store. You are a restocker. Look, hey. Look, man, I know y'all got a Menards, a Kroger, a goddamn Myers, but these niggas get paid thirteen dollars an hour. Calm down, Brad. I'm thinking about Brad. I just can't quite figure the guy out just yet. You know, I can none of us can. My name on him. You get a lot of side work out of a hardware store like this. You know, you get a cute little old lady that uh doesn't know how to put up a cabinet. Guess what? I'm gonna be there after work. Dude. The more he goes, the worse it gets. Shut up, buddy. I'm gonna wear some tight fitted clothes and I'm gonna flex the muscles a little bit. Flex. Little what weight. muscles you gonna flex, buddy? I ended up installing some hammocks for her. Didn't end up leaving those hammocks. <laughs> you know? Stuff like that. You know? Look at the balls. I made those comments. Look at the balls. what I heard. Yeah, I, I felt immediately that that was inappropriate. <laughs> inappropriate? I felt like that was a crime. The niggas. Oh my god. You got any questions? I would have ripped my wig Did off I immediately. Have... Like, go in this place, you sick. In that moment, I was this feeling dude's really tripping. The customer didn't come to the store looking for a boyfriend. <laughs> my or a pedophile. Scrumptious. What is he saying? What is he thinking? I was really concerned that he was going to do something that would require me to take immediate action. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I 
Brick skulls and fractions, it's action Slap his firstborn child for reaction Vindicated, I'm devastated and underrated Near the world, it's my home and I finally made it I'm agitated, if fate was trying to integrate Lift kit on the clip, watch him levitate Then I feel this wind pipe, got him breathing straight Hold up, motherfucker, I'm an inmate Snore another at a wrong, rock to the rhythm Don't like drugs, but I do it for the feeling Cowboys and Indians, I always put the feeling The world's so sick, I need a blunt up in the ceiling The clock ticking and ticking, I'm running over the ledge I'm out of my mind, losing my head, better off dead All I see is red, sleep in the same bed on some bullshit, I'm waking up dead. How they do that? Homeboy black as hell, he a new black. Team skits so in full effect, I thought you knew that. Papa got a brand new bag and a new hat. Red and black, Martin Carlo asked me how I do that. Lead the other pack when I'm walking with the wolf. Stand on the ledge and I think he hit a push. Bird in the hand, beats two in the bush. All wanna know what took the shots off the wolf. And I know, no, no, no. Walking down a dark road with nowhere to go, 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 go. Blunt pulling fast, my heartbeat moving slow, 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 slow. And I know, no. That I'm on my own Walking down a dark road with nowhere to go Open up the cockpit and let them in To get where I got, I lost a lot of friends Teams get so family to the very end Black suits redressed like a madman My squad reacting like the A-team I hide your plane inside a daydream I can hit but the sun without face cream Then kiss the lips of every deity Walk around this earth like I'm godlike Can't have a soft ass in the hard fight Starlight shine bright in the starlight After waking bake, I'm feeling alright Keep it kosher with subtle devotion Deeply fermented, my bottom of emotion Leave a motherfucker in the bottom of the ocean Eyes in the back of his head, he wide open This underground shit had a gross birth Get life to the music with a slow birth I'm playing his ass back inside of Mother Earth Put a reverb on my reverse Street fighters, I'm walking through the alley Do you wanna die, get your ass beat, pally The world going mally, now they wish you never had me I'm the black wolf and black shit in my face And I know, no, no, no Walking down a dark road with nowhere to go, 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 go Blunt moving fast, my heartbeat moving slow, 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 slow And I know, know, that I'm on my own Walking down a dark road with nowhere to go Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Squirrel, man. Episode 72. Who we got with us today? What's up, right, man? Dougie Fines. Uh, Dougie Fines Films. I don't know what, what camera you want me to look at, bro. All of, whatever um, camera you want. Yeah, you good. Yeah, appreciate you having me, though, bro. So tell the people a little bit about what you do, man. I know you said Dougie Fines, Dougie Fines Films. Tell them a little bit about yourself. Oh, man. So... Been in filming for what? Shit, like 11 years now, man. Started doing music videos. Started with music videos, man, and Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo. Uh, did a lot of a lot of people's first videos, bro. Um, that's how I started, bro, and ended up develop, developing relationships, you know what I'm saying? Met you, met a lot of good people, a lot of artists, bro. And, just still doing it, bro. Getting back to it, man. I should. So where are you actually from? Are you from Kalamazoo? Nah, so I'm from Springfield, Ohio, bro. Um, if y'all know where that's at, that's like close to Dayton. It's like right next to Dayton, Ohio. Grew up out there, bro, till I was like 12. Yeah, 12, 13, moved out here. You know what I'm saying? Mom relocated and shit, so... Went to school out here, played football, Port of Central, ran track and shit, you know. Did my thing. Uh, tore my ACL. Was supposed to go play college ball. Tore my ACL. That didn't work out. So that's how I got into film, bro. Ended up going to film school in Cali and shit, man. Damn. So did you? Was you taking pictures and shit before, or you just that was just something you hopped into after the fo- after the football shit was over? I mean, I kind of was messing around with the camera and shit, like you know, cause. Uh, my senior year, I graduated in 2009, man. So this was right when, like, YouTube was really, like, 
starting to get popping and shit. Like, it was basically brand new and shit still. Uh, so we was, I was just fucking around with the camera, bro. I upload some bullshit-ass videos on there. Just, you know, just staying tapped in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always, like, just stay tapped in with shit. Like, when MySpace was a thing, had to be on that shit. Like, you know, this around that time, bro. So um, I guess I kind of always, like, had a passion, you know what I'm saying, for film, but I ain't really tapped into it till like, you know, what I thought I was originally supposed to be doing wasn't an option no more. So, you know, it's a, it, it was a slow, it was a slow come up. You feel me with even having a passion for it, but I feel like it was always there though. How was it going to film school? That shit was wild, bro. Um, that that was a totally different experience for me, bro. Personally, just because like my living arrangements at the time and all that, bro. Like, I was living with my cousins in Compton, bro. Like, right there on Center Ave, right behind Compton High School, bro. And I literally had to walk from their house all the way to the train, bro. Ride the train to Hollywood every time, bro. And it was some times I thought nigga wasn't gonna make it to the crib, bro. Like, I ain't even gonna cap, but like, all my cousins made sure I was straight and all that shit out there. But um, just the fact of going through that, I knew I had to take that shit serious, bro, and I was in there learning everything, bro, everything. Like, uh, I met this one teacher, man, his name is Mr. Zimmerman, bro. He was my editing teacher, and he'd do a lot of shit. He edited, like, a lot of movies. He edited CSI episodes and all that shit, bro. And uh, it was just this one time, bro, he was like, uh, he gave us us some files. He was like, y'all just edit it, bring it back tomorrow. And I was like, all right, whatever. Like, that's all he said. Like, y'all just edit it, bring it back tomorrow. So I did, like, some old weird shit to it, you know what I'm saying? Because I thought this shit was just boring footage, you feel me? So I done reversed it, chopped it, you know, put some color on there, all that. We brought them back, and we had to play them in front of everyone, you know what I'm saying? And um, everyone else just basically, like, pieced their shit together. And I did this old weird shit, and he was like, he was like, what made you want to do that? And I was just like, I just thought it looked sweet, you feel me? Like... Like, see me after class and shit. I seen him after class, bro. After that, bro, I had some one-on-one editing sessions with this man, bro. Just because he seen it, like, right then. Like, I just wanted to be creative, you know what I'm saying? And he, he taught me a lot of shit, bro. And so it, it was dope for me, shit. Film school was dope, bro. It was real dope. Um, What do you think the hardest part about filming is? Uh... The organization, bro. The organization, because, like, nowadays it's kind of easier to not have to have anyone else to do the shit. Like, you could really just go outside and film some shit. You got to have a real creative eye, though. You know what I'm saying? But you could do that. But, like, most people, like, when they when they want to do a film, bro, it involve other people. You know what I'm saying? And just getting them on the same page and getting them to see your vision and y'all collabing on the vision and just showing up, you feel me, and all that, bro, like, that's probably the hardest part for me, personally, but, um, you know, I just Make got sure real, it's organized. yeah, I just got real good at maneuvering, though, you feel me, like, shit fall through, I already got a plan B, C, and all this shit, like, either way, this shit gonna look sweet when we done, you feel me? How important, how important is capturing a good shot, and how important is it for editing, or as long as you got enough footage, you can edit. Um. So I know it's a bunch. Of, I know it's like two questions in one. But with me personally, bro, let's say like because I do a lot of filming, bro. I do music videos. I film shows. I film weddings. I film short films. You feel me? Anything. I film everything. So. It depend on what it is. Like, let's say, like, it's something in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got a we got an event. It's important for me to be at the right spot at the right time to get that shot. Now, let's say if I don't, let's say I miss it. I'm going to go into editing, bro, and I'm going to take whatever I got and build it up so big to where that shot didn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Like, I feel like I feel like the editing is way more important than the actual footage. Yeah, bro. Because it's like, 
that's how you chopping it up and delivering it to people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could take you could take something, and it, it's just weird. Nah, you could you could have did it back then too, bro. Like, cause what motherfuckers do is they'll download other videos that look like they shit. Like, let's say like we shot a video downtown, right? But we ain't got no good like lighting downtown and all that. So I rip other footage from other people from like shots of Chicago or Dallas or something. The way I edit that in there, you would never know it's two different cities. You know what I'm saying? So the editing is crucial, bro. Like even back then, like when we didn't have like YouTube and all this stuff to rip videos, you, you would take a VHS tape and it was this machine you could put it in, bro. And it literally like copy that whole tape, bro. And then you could take it and put it on a map, bro. And, board it up, bro, and put it in a whole another, you know what I'm saying? It used to be the same shit, bro, so, that's all editing, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, everybody know that, though, man, everybody's trying to use these filters and all this shit, bro, they know how crucial that shit is, bro. What was, uh, what was that first camera you got? Man, that's crazy, uh, the first camera I ever had or which one you start shooting with? Okay, so this is another, this is a crazy story, bro. So when I started taking this, like, serious, bro, like, I was in, like, Grand Rapids and my fucking Kalamazoo, like, just getting it, bro, me and all these artists and shit. Shout out to my dog, Easy Money, bro. I don't know if y'all know who this is. He was a white dude, gold teeth, rapper, in Grand Rapids, bro. This nigga bought me my first camera, bro. Like, my first real one. You feel me? Like a DSLR, bro. Nice as fuck, bro. He bought me that bitch, bro. And we was out there grinding, bro. Like, I did all his music videos, bro. And through him, I was learning more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it, it was real, it was real, like, it was real valuable to have an artist that just had shit at his, like, disposed like that. Like, and a nigga could make a song, like, right then, bro. And we just go right outside right now and shoot that bitch. We was shooting two, three a day. Was he, uh, was he filming too or he just believed in you? He was like... He just believed in me, bro. Nah, he was a rapper, bro. He was just rapping, bro. He was getting it. And he was grinding in his all right, bro. We really was moving, bro. We ended up getting with Bizarre in Detroit. We did a video with him. We went to Chicago, we did a video with Bo Deal and shit, like, we was really moving, bro, like, and that shit was a beautiful thing, man, and to this day, I appreciate that man for that shit, bro, like, that was the first nigga that really invested in me, you feel me, and it, and it, and it paid off, bro, like, it really did, though, like, shout out to that nigga, bro, he locked up now, but, you know, free that man, sure. What's so, up? What, uh, what camera you working with now? Man, I got so many cameras, bro. <laughs> so, it, it all just depends on what you for what you shoot for. Yeah, yeah, it do, man. So like with the music videos, I'm definitely still using the Sony's and the Canons, bro. The DSLRs, bro. I just really been going back to like I go back and forth. I don't know. It's just cause of my feel, bro. Like I'm a real like vintage dude. Like I like retro vintage look. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I like it to look like up to date though too though you know what i'm saying so and i see a lot of motherfuckers like rocking that wave right now that's cool but um that's why i be going back and forth but right now i'm really rocking with this uh this max 360 bro this shit dope as fuck bro like it do everything you know what i'm saying like i've been vlogging with it a lot bro like because i ain't been on youtube i ain't uploaded a video on youtube in like five years bro you know i just got back to it and that's why i'm just dumping content on that bitch, like, trying everything, like, that's why y'all seen a reaction video play, you know, before the show, like, them is new, bro, like, and that's another thing, like, I'm getting used to being on camera, like, I ain't used to this shit, like, even this right now, like, I'm still getting used to it, you know what I'm saying, you like, I used to always be behind the camera, yeah, bro, like, I ain't used to being on camera, bro, like, real talk, I don't even, I don't do even, you, I don't even know if I like it, you know what I'm saying, I was just gonna like, ask that, do you, do you prefer to still? Obviously, you 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 like to film, so you probably prefer just to be behind I the prefer, camera. I prefer being behind the camera, bro. Like for real, like. Um, but it's just it's a different age, a different day and age now, bro. Like just for me to even market my brand and get these jobs and do all this shit, I gotta do all this shit. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Like 
I, so I gotta adjust. You feel me? I will get there. So you ain't got no full team. You out here doing it on your own? Yeah, bro. Oh shit. <laughs> Been grinding. Yeah, yeah. I do it on my own for the most part, but I do got a podcast, and I do want to shout out my homie Eli, bro, which is my co-host on there, bro. He put a lot of the work in that shit too, bro. Like, and that just that just another motherfucker to the testament of a motherfucker believing in me. You know what I'm saying? Like. I just had an idea, bro, and honestly, bro, I tried it before, like, and it went back to the organization, like I said earlier, motherfuckers ain't want to show up, like, you know what I'm saying, like, we talking to the business, like, to the point where we done shot three, four of them, and how I do is, I'll shoot three or four or five, if we talking about a show, right, like, I treat it like a pilot, bro, like, I'm about to shoot three or four or five of these bitches, see what what it do you know what i'm saying before i just invest in the shit you know what i'm saying like so it ain't end up working out but we brought the same idea back eli rocked with it bro we 10 episodes strong now bro and i'll Shut up with what's it what's the name of your podcast uh the swimmer sink podcast bro go check that out on youtube man it's also on spotify coming on apple too bro take a minute for them fucking codes and shit but yeah, we out here, man. The Swimmer Sink Podcast, bro. You know? What, uh, so tell us a little bit about, I know I'll be seeing you at a lot of the festivals, a lot of the different uh, events out here. Tell us how you tapped in and started doing that. So with, man, um, easy money, bro. <laughs> Big John, Big John said easy money. Easy money, bro, yeah. Uh, we was easy money, bro. I met all these promoters through, bro, um. And that's how I met John. That's how I met Peasy. Like, bro, like, yeah, it just, it was a snowball effect, bro. And, like, at that time, I was seeing that just, like, 10 years ago, bro. So I just got out of high school. I'm 20, 21. I had, nah, this was, like, a year after high school, bro. So I'm, like, 21, bro, just able to get into clubs and shit. Young and dumb like a motherfucker, bro. But PZ seen it in me too, bro. Like, but I seen something that they didn't see. I'm like, bro, y'all throw these motherfuckers. Ain't nobody filming this shit. I'm like, bro, this shit epic, bro. I'm like, y'all gotta document this shit. I'm talking to PZ, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he like, yeah, bro, like, let's do it. You feel me? And we've been doing it since, bro. Shout out to PZ. Shout out to John, you feel me? It's a lot of promoters. Shout out to Mike G, bro. He the same shit, bro. Like. You feel me? And that's how I got started, bro. Shout out to all them motherfuckers, huh? Do you, uh, I know you say you do a lot of different shit. You do videos, podcasts, and uh, filming these different events. What do you, what do you have the most fun doing? Hmm. I'm still trying to figure that out, bro. Like, I'm still trying to figure that out because I like doing it all. Like, I guess at this point, it's just what's gonna bring in the most passive income on what I'm gonna go full full throttle with, but what's gonna do the best for you? Yeah, but like I honestly believe the music videos is always gonna be like there, bro. Like just cause I I've been doing it for so long, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's easy, bro. It's fun. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was getting to. That's what I'm saying. It like, is fun. So that when you find is, fun doing it. It is fun, bro. I mean, Especially honestly. Especially you get to deal with different artists, so it'll make you want to, okay, let me see how I can flip this, how I can do this. Yeah, bro. all that's cool, too, but ask, ask any artist that do a video with me, bro, a music video, and ask them if they have fun. I guarantee you, my, my music videos be fun, bro. Shooting it, when you get it back, nigga, you always be like, damn, I ain't expect all I ain't even expect it to look like that and shit. Like, that shit fun, bro. Yeah. But it paid too, though. You feel me? Like, that's why my shit named Ducky Funs Films, nigga. I'm doing this shit for the funds, though. You feel me? Like, the bread, nigga. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't know, bro. But at the same time, that's why I kind of eased back, like, filming for a little bit, bro, because it became too business oriented. And, and it was like, bro, I ain't even feeling it right now. You feel me? Like, it just got out of hand, bro. Especially going back to what you were saying, like, I was doing it by myself. Like, I'm still really doing it by myself, bro, a lot of it, bro. I get a little help here, here and there, you know what I'm saying? Like, my baby mama helped me and shit when I asked her with the whole fucking social media and all this shit. Like, I've been doing some shit with that, too. Like, done tapped in with... uh. 
spectacular from fucking Pretty Ricky, bro. I had a couple conference calls with this nigga on Zoom and shit. He on that business shit, Yes, man. bro. And he, like, he done put me on websites that I ain't even know exist, bro. Like, no, that nigga left the music and got straight to the really business. He really on that social media shit. That tough, bro. Shit. He's blowing niggas' pages up, bro. And he really just showing niggas how to do it. But that's a whole nother thing, yeah. bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bro, like, that's just, that's just what it is, bro. I'm going to keep doing this shit, though, till I die, though, just because I, I love it. You feel me? Like, I love it, bro. Sure. Shit, uh, so when did you link up with Foot Clan? Okay. Um, that's where it really started, though, because before I met Easy in high school, this was in high school, bro, um, there was one spring break, bro, where we got together. Man, this shit, this shit old. I can say this shit. Fuck it, bro. So, like, we had bought a bunch of weed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got shrooms and shit. Tripped out, bro. It was me, Woozy, Brandon. Who else was there? The important part is it was me and Woozy, bro. <laughs> you feel me? And we made a whole mixtape in that motherfucking apartment, bro. We ain't leave, bro. We made a whole mixtape. Off the shrooms? Yes, bro. And then when we went back, when I went back to school, bro, I had pressed up a bunch of them, bro, right? A bunch of them, bro. Like, I had bags full, and I made them, like, I had all these colorful fucking cases, bro, so everyone ain't feel like they got the same thing. You feel me? And we all signed. We signed all them bitches. Gave them out, bro. That's how I started, bro. And then they was like, bro, y'all, y'all got to shoot some music videos and shit. So that's where I really started shooting music videos, bro. My first music video with Woozy, bro, down in the student ghetto, bro. I'll never forget it, bro. <laughs> that's where that's where the Foot Clan shit started, bro. It really was broken famous, bro, before Foot Clan, you feel me? But then, like, niggas just started doing their own thing, you feel me? And the niggas did the Foot Clan shit. I went to film school, came back, started Dougie Fine's Films, bro. That's how I started. Oh uh, yes, what you uh, what you working on right now? I know you got, I know you said you got a lot in the works. What um, what what's your goals for your uh, for the podcast and for the you know what I mean for the channel? So man, um, basically, I'm still trying to figure it out, bro. Like even just thinking about it right now, I'm just getting a headache, bro. <laughs> like, but nah, like I'm going full throttle, bro. We just gonna see, bro, because like it's working. Like the subscribers is building up. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas is tapping in, bro. Like so, I don't know. I'm just taking it day by day right now. Right now, I got a schedule. Like you know what I'm saying? Like at least I'm gonna just start, keep it like that right now. Like. I do the reaction videos every Monday and Wednesday. We film the podcast every Friday and Sunday. Uh, I vlog every day. You feel me? And then in between, I book shit. So that work keeps shit keeping it going. Staying busy, bro. Right now, but um, I'm trying to I'm trying to really get back into like the movies, though. Like I've been talking to you know. Shout out to my brother Keys, man. YK Infinite Films, bro. We we. We we be working too, bro. Like you know, we had this, uh, the show Zoo Unleash, man. Thinking about bringing that shit back. It's a lot of shit, bro. That we got with that that we ain't even put out yet, bro. Like that's epic, bro. Like I I got a whole one on one interview with Trick Trick, bro. With this like and it was, bro. This man's so cool, bro. Like so. Uh, shout out Trick Trick. Shout out Peasy and John, bro. So it was at the E forty show, man. One of the last shows of Fahrenheit, bro. Like hey, Fahrenheit was dope jumping, bro. Like that shit was jumping every time, bro. Um, but yeah, after the show, bro, we just was walking through the lobby, bro. Like, cause we had walked through the hotel, cause we parked in the back and shit. Trick to come right off the elevator, bro. We just was like, what's up, nigga? Kids had the camera and a mic in his hand already, and he was like, bro. Dougie do an interview with you. He like, yeah, bro. He sat there with us for like 45 minutes, bro. I bet. And I, we ain't even put it out. So that shit going to come out, bro, for sure. So now You got the page and the shit going. You put that content out. Yeah, man. It was on TV. We did it through the Access channel and shit, bro, because they wanted it. You feel me? And they just ran the show, bro, for like two months, bro. But that shit ain't never hit YouTube, so we going to put that bitch out there, man. We got a whole interview with Crooked Eye, a whole bunch of shit, bro. A 
whole bunch of shit. Shout out Keys, bro. But yeah, um, but if y'all want any, you know, I know you got a lot of artists that watch that shit, bro. Like y'all want music videos, y'all want y'all show film, bro. Hit me up, anything, bro. And my turnaround time is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like. I think that's one thing people like about me the most, bro. Is like they that's that why I come back, bro. Quality. Yes, bro. You will get your shit back in two days, bro. I promise you, bro. Like, and it's gonna be fire. Like, it's gonna be better than what you thought it was gonna be. I promise you that. Like, my turnaround time is stupid, bro. And that's why I'm glad I've been doing this shit so long because I just done developed so many methods. You know what I'm saying? To where it's like that's why I ain't had to upload a video on, on YouTube for myself, like. I, they, I get the videos to y'all. Y'all y'all do what y'all do with them. You know what I'm saying? I get the work. I get the money. You feel me? And I'll see you the next time, bro. But now I'm at a point where it's like, I got I to gotta put this content out for myself, bro. You feel me? Because, shit, I want this brand to be a real brand. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want this shit to stick, bro. Like, I believe in it. A lot of other motherfuckers believe in it, so we're going to do it, bro. So I'll be feeling, man, like shit. I believe in your own shit. All right. So, make, make a motherfucker believe. Yeah, but yeah, shout out to all my Ohio artists too, bro, because that I feel like that's why my name is really jumping like in the streets, but not on the internet, bro, because I'm in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, you feel me? I'm filming the whole Midwest, you know what I'm saying? So... A bunch of motherfuckers, you feel me? That's why I'm just like, yeah, I gotta I gotta just brand this shit for real now. You feel me? So we here, bro. I appreciate you having me. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, to be able to put this shit out there, too. Yeah, for sure. But uh, what you smoking on? Smoking on today? This is some wedding cake, bro. Trying to have it calm my nerves and shit. Nigga, this nigga got me on camera, bro. I'm like, man, here we hey. go. I'm still getting used to that, bro. The man behind real. the camera. That's dope, though. That you yeah. getting to see both sides, though. Like, for a person that's been on with, always filming, to be able to, but you have your own podcast, obviously. But it's different, because at least you ain't doing it in front of hundreds of, I mean, it's a lot of people that may see it, but you're not doing it in front of a crowd of motherfuckers just live studio audience and all shit right like that. right yeah that should have be wrecked bro <laughs> <laughs> that should have be wrecked i had to have some perks or something <laughs> <laughs> had to have something to calm them nerves I swear bro but yeah this shit dope though bro i've been watching this motherfucker bro like i'll, I'll really see what you got going on bro this shit dope as hell i appreciate that man. yeah yeah keep it going bro and that's exactly what you know what i'm saying i feel like consistency gonna win bro you feel me like and that's the method i'm rolling with bro all that other shit gonna come into play bro like motherfuckers really be worried about like the numbers and all that bro that should have come you feel me that should have come bro like i ain't really i ain't really too strategically worried about the followers and the numbers bro like i know i got a following you feel me like it's about this content right now. Like, I yeah, just want to put out the best I swear, I swear. work I can, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this coming from a nigga, like, and I ain't trying to brag, but I'm just just saying what it is, bro. This coming from a nigga that I've been doing this for 11 years, bro. Even me, I'm still in the basement learning new methods on the same program I've been using for a decade, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit don't stop, bro. It's a process, bro. Like, niggas talking about I, you know, I don't, I don't know, though, because a lot of motherfuckers really do be doing it for the attention, though. But that ain't me, though. You feel me? Like, because when we gone, bro, this all is going to be left, bro. You feel me? This shit still going to be here. You feel me? Like, and that's that's how I'm looking at it, bro. Like, that's what it is, bro. You got a passion. That's just all it come down to. Shit. Yeah. You, you money-driven, bro. You gonna crash out, bro, with this shit, bro. I'm telling you, like, I seen it. I seen it, bro. I went through it. You feel me? Like, I had to get that passion back, bro. And that's dope, though. Shit, you got passion for something. That's why I like doing this shit, man. I like doing what I'm doing. And getting artists, videographers, fucking athletes, whoever, you know what I'm saying? People that got a, got a story to tell. It's a lot of people that may not know it that want to hear that shit. And so, I like filming people that's passionate. That's how I met all y'all. You feel me? John, all y'all niggas. Like, Blaine, shout out to them niggas. Yak, all them niggas, bro. Cash, all, all y'all. You feel me? Like, y'all passionate about what y'all do, bro. Like, 
that's where that's where it started, bro, and that's where it got to end. You feel me? Like all that other should have come, bro. Like, so if somebody want to reach out to you and get some video work done, or reach out to you and get you to film one of the events, how can they tap into you? The best way is uh, probably Instagram now, bro. Cause a lot of motherfuckers saying they ain't got Facebook and shit. Like I don't, I don't know. Probably Instagram. I'm gonna get back on there, bro. I've always had it. I upload sometimes, but I'm gonna really start getting back on there. Uh, it's Dougie Funds B N F on there. Funds with a Z D O U G I E F U N Z B N F. Um, get at me on YouTube, man. Like subscribe to the YouTube. It's Dougie Funds D O U G I E space F U N Z. Um, but I'm on everything though. Like basically on everything, I'm Dougie Funds. I'm the only nigga with the F U N Z. So it's Dougie and then F U N Z, bro. On everything, you feel me? Whatever you got, you got TikTok, you got Twitch, you got whatever, bro. Dougie Funds. Dougie Funds on everything. Get at me on the Xbox, all that what about shit. The sink or swim. So that's yeah. So that's a whole nother YouTube page. Uh, it's swim or sink. Nah, it's cool. Um, it's SOS Media on YouTube. So just type in SOS Space Media, and it's gonna be the uh, icon with the fucking flotation device, like the little red and white raft and shit with the water on it. All our episodes got water behind them, so that's how you know it's us and shit. Wow. Right. Hell yeah, man! Shout out my sponsors, Apple Sky Farms. Shout out Exotic Pop. And yeah, man, we're going to keep on bringing these videos. Make sure y'all go to YouTube and subscribe to the channel Smoke Session with Squirrel and watch the full episode of this uh, video. And uh, thanks, Dougie, for coming on that podcast. Man, for sure. I My appreciate nigga. you having you know me, man. And uh, yeah, y'all make sure y'all tap in, go to YouTube and subscribe. Smoke Session with Squirrel. We out.